tryna kick it. Won't tell me a secret. I ain't like your ex, you can let your guard down. Tell your girls you with a real one so they can calm down. You with them dickies on. Better yet, I'm out. When I tell you all the yes to this weather, I don't know how much longer I can be a northerner because this is what I need. I'm about to go get lunch, about to be right back inside, but that's okay. But these moments I cherish a lot. Okay, let me go get this thing. I just got back from a fun-filled afternoon and evening because to be honest I wasn't even planning on doing anything today but did some waterfront fun sat out relaxed so relax and chill with me Okay, look at like Tarzan's wife and dude. Okay. Kind of had a lazy day today, but I decided to get up because this was not how or what I planned to do today. I was watching All American on Netflix. I said, you know what? It's sunny outside. Why am I in the crib? For what? Mind you, today is like a busy day since everybody's off or whatever. So I just didn't feel like being in the mix and in the crowds. But I found a spot afternoon, early afternoon, just to chill. It's what I needed. Now mind you, being by the water is like five to ten degrees cooler, which is fine. The child should have uh, brought a little cardigan situation or something, but we don't fuck it out. I'm not going back just to get a cardigan. Mm -hmm. No, we're not. But chill with me for a second. So the first park, as expected, because of all the shade, was a little bit too cold for me. So I actually moved to another park and I actually was able to catch a sunset. So sit back and enjoy. Thank you for waiting. What can we get started for you? Hi, can I? But yeah, I don't know what it is about summertime that makes people drive berserk. It don't make sense. You're going to get to where you're going to get. You don't need to rush. You don't need to pull out in oncoming traffic. Like, that just makes me mad because the stuff that I've been through makes me have that mindset. So... I have zero time or tolerance for people that do that. It's annoying to me. Because what are you rushing for? That's my rant of 
the day. Yeah. Okay, no. I ain't done no. Also, can we not have inflation anymore, please? Please and thank you. Because it's not cute. <laughs> this economy not cute. But I gotta feed myself. And pay these bills. You know what's crazy? I could really. I'm not going to even go into that. I'm not even. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm not going to do that. Hello. Hi. Thank you. You know you gotta do the uh, professional voice filming. <laughs> Cause you know, when you get accustomed to like having board meetings and such, I don't even know if you can hear me because this AC is cracking in this building next to me. But yeah. But I think it's getting to a point, too, where people, mm, you know, my people, we don't want to vanilla it up like we used to, so. Mm -hmm. Why is my phone going up? Also, I've been ordering this more often. Thank you. Oh, no, I'm good. You say no, thank you. No, thank you. I said no, I'm good, but. <laughs> but as I was saying. I said, no, I'm good. I'm not speaking Ebonics or nothing. I've been ordering this again a lot. Because for some reason, I don't know if it was the type of milk that was making me sick. So I'm not lactose intolerant. So it was like real weird to me. But it's what I've been ordering when I need a pick-me-up. But I hope you are having an amazing week. Are you a windows down, cruising, and my six foe type of girly? Or AC type of person in the summer? I'm both because I can handle heat. But sometimes that AC need to be on. Because it'd be too hot. But luckily, you can balance the heat out with some shade. Hopefully, I can enjoy the rest of the day soon. Because if I can escape this busyness, I will. And mind you, my busy is not like other people in like city busy at all it's nothing like that but I've grown accustomed to not wanting to have that busy big city center mind you I could travel to it sure be a hustle and bustle but it's getting to a point where people are people in
person to stop staring so damn hard. Like, yeah, I work in a building next to you. Get over it. You know the Earls love me. I've always dated older. So the Earls love me. But I don't love you, Earl. Been Earl, really Earl. Mm mm mm. Mm mm. So I'm sure, as you can tell, I love off the shoulder moment, like I said, was my last, well, not even my last, my first clothing haul. So I'm chilling back the rest of the day. Work masked me out today. Orders back to back. So calculations, thinking, critical thinking, just, I'm done for the day. And then when I came back home after work, I had to um, do some other content related things like photos and videos for some listings that I'm about to put up on my Etsy shop. It's not dealing with candles and everything like that and the self care, but to me, it's like, I think I mentioned this before, but I have so many ideas that I want to be able to put forth and be as creative as I can. This is my creative space, my era with that. So I wanna be able to put my ideas and put them into life. Put them into life? Is that what I wanna say? Just make them into fruition, right? <laughs> so I do have another website and even another channel. If you guys like fashionable things that are unconventional, I have a couple pieces on the site already, but I'm trying to look for more pieces to put on there that are unique in my opinion. So I have things like fashion, jewelry, accessories. I have glassware. I have old nostalgic items. To me, I have a pretty good list starting out. So it will be at the bottom of the screen, just the name of my other channel or my Etsy shop either or. I have all the information on both platforms. So you'll be able to either go to the website or subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. I do want to upload as consistently as I can on there too. It's just with here, to me, vlogging is easier and I can be more consistent with it at this point because with listing, especially on the Etsy shop and on the Etsy site, I'm not sure if I'll be able to be more consistent on that other channel just because with the things that may run out or I don't have anything bought <laughs> new as of recently. So if you ever do see that jump in consistency on the other channel and on the you know website, it's just because I just haven't found anything that I think I should post yet. However, if you do have an inquiry, again, you can always go over there, contact me and so on. And I'm excited with it because to me, thrifting, because I don't even think I said the background of this. <laughs> so long story short, my self care has been basically just centering on things that I enjoy and being in this creative space. So more recently, as I said in another video that I was trying to set up some stuff, well, that's the stuff that I was setting up. I have about a good few years of, you know, collecting and thrifting, antiquing, things like that. I got it from my mom because when I tell you since I was a newborn, <laughs> I have been thrifting with my parents, you know, 
before my father passed on. So it was like, I, every weekend, it felt like I was either at a Goodwill, I was at a yard sale, a stage sale, you name it, I was there. So I, when I got older, it was just like something that I just really didn't think about anymore because it was so second nature to me. But I just let my mom continue to do it. She still does it to this day. So I was just like, you know what? You taught me a lot about certain eras, about things, and a certain quality of things. So I just want to be able to gather what I collected, be able to give it to somebody else to enjoy. Because with my collection, there's always some new things that I would like to add to it. However, I'm okay with letting stuff go. Like I will downsize like nobody's business. So that's practically what this website is about. I want to find things thrifted, antiqued, so that way someone can either start their collection of things or to just have somebody else enjoy something that I've had for so long. Because again, I do want to have a revamp when it comes to that too. So that's the additional venture that I am on and I have been having a lot of fun with it because now that it is getting on, a lot of people are having garage sales, yard sales, etc. We're gonna see how that venture goes too. I am doing a lot. I'm not doing it all at once, but I'm definitely doing a lot. I just finished uh, the concept of my second book. Hopefully I will have that finalized by the end of summer so that way I can get that published. I do self-publish, so I'm going to try and get it to, into stores. So I got to meet the criteria for that. My first one, I think it was the book dimensions, it just wasn't qualified for it. But that's okay, it's still on Amazon. You could always click the information in this channel where my banner is, information's all there. There's that. I started my third book because when things just come into me when it comes to my writing style and my writing mood, I'm on it. And I can black out when it comes to writing. But I think it's fun. So I'm doing that, trying to, you know, do the second and start the third one. I'm still trying to make my candles, still do self-care content for you guys. It's like this type of stuff fulfills me in other ways that just I've felt so blah and now I'm getting back to just being busy because one thing about me I stayed busy for so many years and I was just like you know what I don't want to be anymore. It was just a space where I was just like I don't want to even think critically. I don't want to you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to do any of it. So now that I'm rejuvenated in that way, thank God that I'm able to have the energy again to be able to balance and have high pressure things happen. I have to adapt to that lifestyle again, but I'm really excited. Doing this channel, the first website that I created and now this website, it, so excited. If you guys want to, go look at the listings. I'm not going to mention the other website all like that and the Etsy site because it's just, it's two separate things. Even though the sector on the other site is, I guess, broader because I have so many different categories of items. Now this, as opposed to this, that's just me with the self-care part of my journey and with my first brand that I made was with my candles. So 
I have two brands <laughs> now and I just want to be able to have them flourish and I want people to know that whatever is behind me, I am working very diligently and my work ethic is there. So I am evidently, evidently, avidly trying. <laughs> Told us that the vocabulary ain't there. But I do want to, I just wanted to briefly put that on here so that way if you guys do like, you know, resold items, pre-loved items, I got it because the nostalgia in me made this brand. There's always a reason why I make a brand and want to have a um, foundation with it. And to be honest, I only do want to have the YouTube right now for my other brand because with Instagram for some reason I don't know if it's my number I don't know if it's my emails or my cell phone in general but it's shadow banning me and that's been another frustrating thing it's just like for me it just doesn't make sense to be shadow banned. I didn't, no policies are broken, no uh, guidelines, nothing. So it's like I capped for some reason and I just, I do genuinely want to grow and I know that my content is consistent and I know that I try and make things aesthetically pleasing. Of course, who doesn't like that, you know? But what can I do? All I ask is that you guys continue to support, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff, and just see where the journey takes me. And also, too, I have to understand and give myself grace, and I think I've said this before, but I feel like I... What I want to say. Prior to certain things, even though I always been a processing person and willing to go along with the ride, there are some things that I would want to be Okay, there are <laughs> there are certain things that I want to be able to just truly grow in when it comes to the creative space and I want to do it organically. It can be discouraging but I've already told myself that I was discouraged for years to stop doing what I was doing by people, I can't get disturbed. See? This is how you know I'm tired. I cannot speak well. <laughs> discouraged. I just don't want to be discouraged. Algorithms and whatever, because whoever is watching this, I appreciate it. I don't care. The, I don't care about the number. It's not that. I just know that just, I'm human, I do want to see growth in some type of way. But if it's one person that's impacted, I've always said this, if it's one person impacted and they get it and they're latched on and they're with me, I am with you too. That's it. I've always had that fundamental thing about myself because it's just that light that happens with people when they get somebody. So I just want to be understood, that's all. I just want to be able to be creative, be understood, be cared for, because I do that for you as well. Just wanted to come on here and say that, 
don't know if I'm gonna stop this vlog and start a new one, but you will see if there's another clip besides this. As I'm prepping my drafted chapters for my third book, I do have to go over my second book again just to see if I want to tweak some things before it gets to the proofread process and getting all of the logistics behind it completed. So I do want to take my time with that. However, I did start writing my third book. As I briefly mentioned before, I wanted to set some intentions for upcoming things that I want to accomplish. So I just wanted to read them to you, not only to keep myself accountable, but nothing can be possible without God and your guys' support. So this is what I wrote down first. I would like my second and third book to receive great feedback and sales. I want it to supply an additional income for me to help me save for the things that are both needed and are important to me. My candles will also get more recognition and sales to supply an additional outcome so I can be even more independent and to continue to enjoy the art of candle making. I want to stay grounded during my creative era. I will not get discouraged by things that are beyond my control. Doing what you love is important and you know that the rest will follow. Love and give yourself the time you need to become the woman God is forming you to be. Have your light shine and empower people to do the same. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, take care.